Week four, the high school football season now just two days away. Plenty of big games on tap for Friday, including a big matchup between the last two Middle Illini Conference champs. Pekin plays host to defending league champion Washington. The Dragons coming off an impressive road win at Dunlap. A coming out party for sophomore receiver Dylan Anderson, who caught three big touchdown passes in the game. You know, it's exciting, obviously, scoring three touchdowns in a varsity game as a sophomore, but um, I, I can't do that without your lineman, can't do that without your quarterback, can't do that without the play calls, you know. All that stuff doesn't happen. We don't win that game Friday. Our offensive line did a great job in the trenches there to give Brogan enough time to throw the ball, and Dylan just finished. I mean, you know, we knew he had speed and athletic ability, and obviously he showed it uh, Friday night. Brogan Benassi with a touchdown pass to Peyton Hess here. Hess makes a great catch in the end zone. Again, Pekin hosts Washington Friday. Like the Dragons, Washington won its first middle line eye game last week. It was the Panthers' first win of the season, and Coach Todd Stevens says it happened because his team tightened up its game. We've had a little bit of adversity here these first two weeks, and the kids rallied, cleaned some things up, like I said, from, uh, from week one, penalties and, and turnovers, you know, start to minimize, and good things happen when you uh, start cleaning up the game. Minimizing mistakes. That's uh, basically, we just, we, yeah, we kill ourselves sometimes by uh, jumping off sides. I'm, I'm guilty of that too, but just, just killing the mistakes. And our high school game day matchup this week is Morton at Metamora. We'll preview it live from the game Friday at 6 o'clock and carry the live stream of the contest at CIProud.com. But you can tell us which school has more spirit. Vote on the spirit poll at centralillinoisproud.com slash vote or scan that QR code you see on your screen to vote. Right now, Morton has a 60 to 40% lead on Metamora after three days. College volleyball tonight, ICC and Lewis and Clark at Ramsey Gym. Big night for Tremont's Mackenzie Flederer. 14 kills, 19 digs. There's one of her kills. Here, East Peoria's Maris Barclay sets up Andrea Rudolphy for the kill. ICC won the first two sets, but the match goes five. Flederer with another kill here, and ICC wins in five sets. Peoria's Crew 309, a women's rowing team made up of cancer survivors, is taking its message outside of central Illinois. The ladies will compete for the first time. They're heading to Boston next month for a large regatta called the Head of the Charles. Thousands of rowers are expected at the event. We've been able to conquer breast cancer. We've been down the water. So I feel like we're set up to do just fine with this. Plus, I can tell my grandkids one day, guess what your grandma did at the age of 49. Crew 309 competes in Boston on October the 19th, and we have much more on Crew 309 and her story right now at our website, ciproud.com.